Uh, Michael Forward here for Chet TV and Peace FM, and we're here with the Minister of Citizen Services, Lisa Barron. Glad to have you along. And you guys recently made an announcement about connectivity in the Peace Region. What's that all about? Well, thank you for having me, Michael. I'm very excited to be up here, up in the Peace, uh, doing a lovely four-day tour. Uh, so this has been quite the, quite the adventure. Uh, today, though, we're announcing nine, up to $9.8 million of uh, funding for connectivity here in the Chetwin area. It's going to be for Doki, for Tidwell, and for Wabi Hill. And so this is a fabulous partnership between the federal government, uh, BC government, and TELUS to bring um, increased uh, cell or, uh, internet coverage to uh, 1,600 households. Excellent. And uh, how is that going to affect the uh, average resident in the area? Well, we all know how important connectivity is, uh, especially since COVID-19, whether it be connecting with, you know, your, your doctors online, using it for, you know, to access healthcare, uh, moving to online education during the pandemic, or all the increased uh, services that government has now put online. You know, if, if you don't have connectivity, you're not able to fully participate in what's available. Uh, it, it's not a, it's, you know, it's not a want anymore. It's a necessity, and we all know that. And then not to mention connecting with your loved ones, you know, how, how important it is. And so this will make a difference for those 1,600 households. So where's the money for this program coming from? So it's the Connecting uh, British Columbia program. Uh, we've been investing in uh, connectivity since we formed government, which has been fabulous. We've put in $190 million to date. And then this spring, uh, as part of Budget 22, uh, we did a partnership with the federal government and signed a historic $830 million agreement between the federal government and uh, province of BC uh, to connect all communities in British Columbia. And so we here at BC have uh, committed to connecting all communities by 2027. Excellent. You've been traveling around the Peace Region, Northern Region. Mm -hmm. uh, what other announcements have you been making? Uh, well, we recently were just uh, yesterday up in Fort Nelson uh, announcing call boxes along the Alaska Highway. Uh, so this is an interim solution, obviously, as, as uh, you know, co connectivity is built out, but it's vitally important for safety. You know, when you have long stretches of highway that have no uh, cell coverage, uh, we know how that impacts safety. Um, you know, for residents, for visitors, for travelers. And so it's a, a fantastic announcement that's going to improve safety along the Alaska corridor. Has the government's view on connectivity changed or been altered ever since the Rogers outage a few months ago? Well, it's very important to ensure that not only all residents have coverage, but there is redundancy. Um, across the system as well. And so we need to do both, not only connect to the entire province, but ensure there's redundancy as well. Uh, last year, I don't know if you remember, Michael, a hungry beaver uh, knocking out uh, yeah. coverage for an entire region for, I believe it was three days. Um, and then the Rogers outage as well. Um, so, so we know the value of that. Obviously, there's an increased importance of that. Uh, and we've been working closely with the federal government who reg this regulates the CRTC. And, uh, you know, that has been a very big conversation on ensuring that emergency services remain available across carriers uh, during an outage and so that we're not left uh, caught behind. Is there a timeline as to when uh, the average resident could see this improved connectivity coming online? Well, for uh, all of British Columbia, we have committed uh, to connecting by 2027. It's an ambitious goal. It's going to take everyone working towards it, uh, you know, uh, and, and we're very excited to do it. Uh, we have communities and First Nations on board. They're very excited. Uh, our internet service providers uh, are, are very excited about this historic funding announcement, and, and we're all ready to get to work because uh, five years is going to come fast, and so we're, we're we're getting started. The new program is going to open up this fall, uh, early fall, and uh, we'll, we'll start connecting the rest of the province as well. Excellent. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I'm just very excited to be up here. I was here uh, a year ago, took the opportunity uh, to travel uh, Fort St. John, Fort Nelson, come down here through Chetwin, um, and I was able to hear and see firsthand what the lack of connectivity means to people and to businesses. Uh, and so, you know, a year later to be able to come, to go away, do the work, 
come back a year later with some great announcements and then the historic funding partnership um, is fantastic. It's It's been really great to, to come back and be able to announce these things. And in the work that's happened in the year, uh, you know, as I'm doing my tour, I can already see increased coverage where there wasn't coverage before. And so, you know, it's it's we're going to keep going step by step until we have everywhere connected. Oh, well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. And I believe that's everything. It was very nice to be here. And thank you for having me. Thank you so much.